Hi everybody and this is Archit and welcome to another episode of Wazirx Conversations. Now world over blockchain and crypto experiments are being conducted on a large scale. Now in this video I'm going to be talking about Canton of Zug which is in Switzerland which was the early adopter of blockchain and crypto experiments. It is also the place that attracted the team behind Ethereum which is the second biggest cryptocurrency by value. The Ethereum Foundation which promotes and supports the cryptocurrency is also based in Zug. So let's have a conversation with Mr. Karl Kobelt who is the mayor of Zug. So hi Mr. Kobalt it's been a pleasure hosting you I mean I just want to brief my audience that you are the mayor of uh, the Crypto Valley which is the city of Zug in Switzerland and uh, it's an interesting city where all the blockchain developments are happening all the crypto developments are happening so my first question to you is how is the blockchain development taking place in Zug Actually in recent years a real crypto cluster has developed in Zug the various companies in the field are in lively exchange with each other when you are in Zug you sense that the topic of blockchain is omnipresent not only in the economic sector but also politics and administration are very much confronted with these topics in the meantime around 1000 companies with over 5000 jobs are located in crypto valley of which switzerland and the principality of liechtenstein are seen as crypto valley with zug as its center so so mr kobelt how have you seen the developments while well, since the time you become the mayor how the city of zug has progressed so far well when i came mayor uh, the issue was already installed and was um, uh, functioning within the administration um, what we've done uh, since then is um, to um, uh, follow up the, the the topic and to um, uh, pursue let's say the 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 pilot um, the pilot uh, projects as i mentioned before uh, actually the the initiative was um in um, the first years of um, my um uh, function as a politician in Zug when i was uh, chief of financial affairs um and that was the uh, time when we accepted um, uh, bitcoin as a means of payment in 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 the city of Zug and i i agreed to that you know because i i i uh, realized that there was uh, much potential behind it right but uh, because four years back i think the city of zurich and zug started these bitcoin experiments whether it was the train stations you know whether it was these shops you know so did you believe that kind of early adoption of these technologies would be beneficial Yes definitely I, I'm not quite sure uh, uh, what uh, shops you you mentioned I I know that there were uh, um, shops for instance also in the city of St Gallen in in in, yeah. in Switzerland where people could um, uh, get familiar with uh, with uh, topics on on um, digital uh, issues and and so on uh, we uh, didn't um, uh, run shops here in Zug we all uh, uh dealt with 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 the topic within the administration so in 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 public the only th um thing you could see is uh, was the um, uh, the 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 uh, single point of contact for 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 the people where they could um uh um get their digital identity that was the only place people could get in contact with 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 um, right 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 and also talk about the zoo digital id you know the pilot project testing self sovereign identities on ethereum blockchain what's the project all about as you know the city of zug was the first authority in the world to accept the cryptocurrency bitcoin as a means of payment for public services in the meantime you can even pay your taxes in zug up to an amount of 100,000 Swiss francs in cryptocurrencies with uh, this decision Zug has been able to gain further experience the experience then fed into a new pilot project the digital identity 
the focus was on the fact that firstly, personal data is a very sensitive asset, as you know. And secondly, that data sovereignty should ultimately lie with the citizens. This was made possible by decentralized tools, which also increase data security. Together with the Lucerne University, we launched a pilot project with the users registered at the time. A project was also pursued to make voting processes using the identity generated in this way. Both pilot projects have been completed and the experience gained has been incorporated into our eSUG app. This is also based on a digital identity with which you can now contact the city in a legally secure manner and obtain various services, including currently from the resident services or the debt collection office with other services the following the coming months. My second last question to you would be like, you know, what are the benefits of blockchain you see in the government and the public sector? Well, in many cases, administrations are nothing more than intermediaries. Thanks to blockchain technology, processes can be simplified and adapted. The authorities also have to act as regulators. It's easier to have a say in this if you also have a technical knowledge as an administration. This can be acquired by addressing the issue as the city of Zug has done and still does and repeatedly launching pilot projects with external partners. Ultimately, it's a matter of mutual learning, but it is still difficult to say today whether and in what for form the topic of blockchain will play a role in the public sector in the future and in which direction innovation will go. However, the city of Zug aims to be at the forefront of this topic. Uh, next question is like, governments worldwide, you know, are researching CBDCs, you know, uh, right now. Do you think we are headed in the right direction? Well, this question cannot be answered in such a general way. The fact is that the Swiss National Bank, the Swiss Bankers Association and the Bank for International Settlements are also addressing this issue. All right, well, thanks for answering all these questions and pleasure hosting you in Wazirx Conversations. It's been a really pleasure hosting you, Mr. Kubal. Thank you very much. And um, please uh, drop in if you are in Zug or in Zurich next time. Just uh, give me a, a phone call and uh, we could uh, uh, further um, discuss um, um, the, the, the issue or other things too. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much.